So, David and I are headed to the museum today. We decided to take the train in to downtown LA because we didn't want to have to drive, especially with how traffic is out here. You know, it's a free day already uh, to go to the museum. So we were like, ah, we'll get there when we get there. We live here, so if we ever want to come back, I believe this is the first Sunday of the month free or something like that. Second. We we have the chart. Second. Whatever the second day of the month. There you go. Wait, but today's not February second. I don't know. How, whatever it is, we have oh, the maybe chart. It's the other one. I, don't know. I don't know. So we're walking currently. Oh, is that it right there? It might be. That's pretty cool. Though. Cool. Hello. <sighs> See, mind your business. So yeah, today is pretty warm. It's weird. I'm about to take this off. It's supposed to be like 7, 73 degrees or something like that. When the sun goes down, it gets to like 60. So currently we're walking uphill. I think that's it right there. So I'll show you guys when we get in. So excited. Me and my boot thing. Yeah, this is the Walt Disney uh, concert hall. I can't see anything. Music center. Like Music, Music center? center across the street. Oh, I have to pan back that way. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh. They do ballets there, babe? Oh, can we go to a ballet this year? That might be my 30 and 30. The wait for it was about a three hour wait in the sun so I was like ah it's all right we come during the week he said do it two weeks in advance um, two weeks in advance and it's free so that's a good thing so we're looking at I don't even know what, what is this the bridge we are the people behind me I don't really understand this kind of art I feel like in order to understand it one, you have to be like a coffee house drinker or something like one artist had a it was just like two different shades of the same color. And the On objective a canvas. is for you to stand close to it. But then, then, then they want you to stand close to it, but you can't stand close to it because the security says back away. So it's, it's like, it's what's the stand point? Close to it so you feel like you're in the art. I don't understand. I don't know. Someone teach us. But I'm really hungry. I think we're probably going to leave. I think we're in the end part. Oh no, we have a little bit more to go see. Um, and then we'll probably get out of here. Good morning! Today is Monday. Is it the 29th? I'm not sure, and I think it's one of my friend's birthdays. I can't remember. I always get it confused if it's today or tomorrow. I'll still shoot her a text message just to let her know I'm thinking about her happy birthday. But, um, what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm headed to work. I got up this morning and went to the gym. Uh, I got there a little late, so I kind of had to do supersets for, um, supersetting my workout because I got there about 20 minutes late uh, and I normally do cardio and then I'll do my weights so instead I just did like a high intensity workout so I um, stretched I did like a dynamic warm-up and then I just went right into the workout today I did legs and arms uh, I'm just trying and, and abs. I'm trying to do some full body stuff. So on days if I do miss, uh, it's not that big of a deal. And then I got home. Um, I got home, and I made some steel cut oats. Mm, I love steel cut oats. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting out. Uh, I drink tea in the morning. And instead of using regular sugar, I'm using stevia. And then I'll just use a little bit of sugar in my oatmeal because I cannot eat oatmeal with stevia. It's just not it. So that's what I did. So I did still cut oats, um, a little bit of vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, almond milk, and the little bit of brown sugar in there. I don't, oh, and um, some peanut butter. I don't need it super sweet, but I need it a little sweet. Like I need something there. And yeah, so now I'm on my way to work. Today we have, it's, um, what time is it? It's 4.24 right now. I'll get there by five. 
Uh, today I have like a, a floor set change that I have to do before obviously the store opens. So yeah, that's why I have to be there so early, which is a good thing. Earlier I go in, the earlier I get out. So, and I don't think I have too much paperwork today to do which is a good thing. But I just wanted to say good morning. You probably can't see me anymore. I wanted to say good morning and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. My body temperature is so hot. <sighs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna peel this before I take off because I don't wanna be creaning into guardrails. The guy was really nice. His name is Andre, like my brother. So I was like, your name's Andre, I really like that. He's like, he must be a good man. I said he is. I literally love and adore my brothers. Mm, I love my brothers so much and I miss them so, 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 so much. If I were like rich and I had unlimited funds, I would literally buy us houses in a cul-de-sac. Like every one of my siblings, we get a house and we could just raise our kids in that cul-de-sac and we get to see them every day. This really makes me sad. I only get to see I get to see my brother, Andre, maybe once a year. And probably Brian the same. As you guys know, my brother Andre lives in Florida. He lives in West Palm. And then my brother Bri, we call him Bri. <laughs> he lives, Brian, Brian with a Y. He lives in North Carolina, him his, and his wife. And now they have two kids. Hello. Um, they moved to North Carolina. So... And now that they have a newborn, we probably won't be able to see them until she's old enough to travel, which, I don't know, how old, how old do you have to wait? Like, how long do you have to wait? How long do they have to, how old do they have to be? I don't know. Uh, maybe six months? I don't know. Um, oh man, I didn't wash my hand. I didn't touch anything though. Um, yeah. And then, you guys know Naya. I get to see Anaya probably twice a year, but the good thing about Anaya is because she's still in school, so I get to see her for longer periods of time, and she'll probably come like twice a year, so I'll get to see her like in the summertime when she comes, she stays about a month, and then for holiday when she comes, she'll stay like a week, week and a half, with mm, our love, so... I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I think I know Shana. I mean, you know me. That's all my siblings. And I call my best friend. I've been best friends with for years now. Christina. She's literally, like, I literally love her. We've been best friends for years. Years. I don't even know how long. That's how long it's been. I want to say, like, 20 years. I'm gonna eat this orange and listen to Sammy. And I'll check you guys on the flip side. I hope there's no traffic because I'm gonna have to pee. So, <clears throat> is it a, it's a rarer time, yeah, that I have this much time by myself. So I'm home, I just recorded two videos, but now everything's a mess. And I have a whole stack of papers that I have to go through, throw out, file away whatever it is because sometimes um, I get home and I'm so much in a rush to like de-stress and decompress from the day that whatever I come in with I just put on this pile which I actually don't like that I'm doing that that's a bad habit that I'm forming so I'm gonna get that together I'm gonna push the table back because I was using the table to uh, record my videos I'm I think I want to watch like Grey's Anatomy or something I've been trying to catch up on my YouTube videos but Sometimes it can be product overload, especially I did my favorites today, and I like to um, listen and watch people's favorites. Maybe I'll watch maybe like two or three more and then watch some Grey's Anatomy because you know how I feel about Grey's Anatomy. I actually need to watch this season. I, um, I normally will just watch. I'll just put it on right now. I think I'm in like season six. I've watched Grey's Anatomy from beginning to the end a million times. Like I... I've said it before, I watch it from the beginning to the end every summer. So I'll start in the summer since it's on a hiatus through those months. I'll, I'll start in the summer and I'll just, you know, finish it when I finish. But I watch it in its entirety at least once a year. 
And then through the year, I'll just pick different um, things to watch. I will take off my makeup and shower, pick out my stuff for tomorrow for work, and get my just get myself ready for tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna have for dinner. Um, I have to look in the fridge. I think we have to go grocery shopping. We like underbought last time. I don't know how that happened. I might go through my um, book of recipes that I have that I cut out from magazines and I like to try different ones here and there and if I like it I file it if I don't I file it in the garbage <laughs> but yeah I think I'm just gonna do stuff to get myself ready I have a pile of laundry to fold my makeup brushes to wash and things to put away my makeup to put away clean the table down you know just adulting I guess you could say I would prop this up, but there's nowhere real place to prop it up in my house where you'd be able to see me. You'd probably just be seeing like the side of me. So that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to check in today. I think you guys need a movie of the week. So we've already covered Goonies, right? That was last week. Er, let's see what movie I want to give you guys to watch. I think 16 Candles is a good movie to watch. And I think you'll like it. 16 Candles. Can't go wrong. So if you guys missed last week's vlog, you could go head over and watch that. But I was telling you guys, you need to know Goonies. So watch some Goonies. And then this one is 16 Candles. So I need to write these down so I don't keep repeating myself. But Goonies is definitely a good movie to watch. And 16 Candles. I really enjoy that one. I don't want the synopsis. I don't want to give you a synopsis because it, it kind of gives the whole movie away. So... Yeah, I'll be back. Good morning. So I decided to do my makeup today at home. Um, lately, I've just been, I don't want to say running behind, but kind of dragging a little in the morning time because I go to the gym super early and I have to be at work super early. So sometimes I don't leave myself enough cushion or I'm just moving a little slower than I should be in order to put my makeup on. So. This morning I decided to, I'm leaving the house, it's about 7, oh sorry, I think it worked by 7, it's like 6.08 or something like that. Excuse me, I did an hour this morning at the gym. Hold on, my hands are full, let me get in the car. So I did an hour or so at the gym this morning. Um, <clears throat> do I have scrunchies? Please tell me I have scrunchies today. I don't have time. Crap, I think I forgot my scrunchies. Oh, no, I have it in my pocket. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so this morning I did legs. I was doing concentration on legs this morning to, like, just get these things in shape, which they're looking pretty good. They're looking really good. They're looking strong. I just want to get more, a little bit more cuts in them, and we'll be good. But this morning I was feeling a little, I don't want to say weak, but a little weaker than normal. Um, probably because I didn't eat in the morning time because I get up so early it's kind I'm kind of doing fasted cardio but I'm not even doing cardio because I'm lifting um, I'll do like high interval training I will do like sneak in some am I in drive I did put do some some cardio uh, some mornings I do cardio right but um, this morning I just wanted to do concentration on legs so I was doing lunches lunges um, what are they called? Russian squats? Um, where it's weighted. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, what else was I doing? Uh, side to side lunges or lateral. Is it called lateral lunges? Um, I don't know. I was doing a bunch of different things like that. Oh, and then I did squats, sumo squats, and then I did the, the weighted squat machine. And I just tried to burn my legs out. Uh, I did a light stretch, nothing too crazy. But I'm just trying to get these things in order, you know? And then tonight I'll probably do a little bit of abs. Um, oh, we're turning, please don't fall. We're doing some abs later tonight. But I was like, let me eat. So while I was getting dressed, I, ha I was making steel cut oats. That's what I have here. I really like them. Um, as of recently, I don't know if I told you guys, I'm trying, I'm really trying to cut back on the extra sugars that I have. So in my teas that I'll drink, I'll just have stevia. And then in, if I'm going to have oatmeal, I'll just do a little bit of brown sugar. I can't eat oatmeal without sugar or I can't eat oatmeal with 
uh, stevia. To me, it doesn't taste right. It doesn't really taste good, and I find myself that I won't eat it all. So I'm like, all right, I'll sacrifice here a little bit of sugar. It won't kill me. Um, and then I don't have sugar for anything for the rest of the day. Like I'm, I've cut out bread, so I'm not eating too much bread. If I'm gonna have a carb, it's gonna be brown rice. You probably can't even see me. It's gonna be brown rice and um, and I'll have my my fruits and vegetables so you guys know that but that's just the little changes I've been doing and I have been seeing a difference my my belly is a lot flatter it looks really good uh, but I'm trying to get it like super flat so you can see like my abs you know I have I have a little bit of abs I probably say I have maybe like a four pack <laughs> but it's just covered by that little bit of fat there so I've been trying I've been focusing on like the pouch area the poochy area and um, we'll see I'm really I'm really satisfied with my progress but of course we all want to see more so since it's so dark I'm just gonna put this thing I'm gonna stop uh, recording and I'll see you guys a little bit later hopefully you guys are having a great blessed start to your day my days have been all over the place I I thought today was Wednesday today's Thursday so I have to race home and release my video after work I'm all over the place mind you I look at my calendar anywhere um yeah so i'll talk to you guys later oh i don't want to hey guys nope. midday check-in well not really we're in the good old wally we haven't found a really good one around here divorce explodes cosmopolitan i love cosmopolitan i've always wanted to work for cosmo always like that was a lifelong goal of mine but i did work at giant magazine which was good really great exposure it was a really cool magazine i wish it never folded because i'd still be working there um isn't that funny when you say when a magazine goes out of business it folds get it magazines fold uh, is that is that the pun behind it I have, no never thought about it. i don't that. know we just came to walmart we're gonna have a couple things to pick up um oh, valentine's day stuff I don't really care for Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, we don't really do that. <laughs> I just see the whole section. Man, if you don't take care of your woman, 99.9% .9 of the right. year, don't do it on that 0.1%. So, me and David are here looking for some bikes. Bike. I think I want a little cruiser. I saw, oh, how cute is that? Those are only eight. I found, look, let's see if we can get them for here. I found a really cool one online. Oh my gosh, it's only $80. I think I want to test out a bike. I really want a bike for the days that um, I have off. We live right near a, a couple paths that um, we could go biking on, so I figured that's a part of my regimen. Oh, oh, for Cuba! Oh, do you think he'll stay on the bike? Does anybody have a, a dog that they put in their bike with them? I'd love to know. I want to um, try some of these bikes out. I'll let you know. Do they have this one but in black? Grab it. Huh? No, I don't think they have it in black. They have one right here. It's different.